welcome. Thank you. Thank you for sitting with me today. Glad to do it. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your background and who you work for. Well, I work for Trimble. Um, I've been at Trimble for 24 years now. Uh, my background before Trimble was land surveying. I'm the son of a surveyor um, and grew up surveying, tromping around the woods of Northern California. Uh, got into the GPS um, in the early 80s and uh, leveraged that at working in private companies. And then I came to Trimble in 94. And so most of my experience at Trimble has been in what's now the geospatial or survey side of uh, the product ranges that, that Trimble offers. Um, a few years ago, uh, we started looking at different things to do. One of those was dealing with uh, departments of transportation, um, and I was leveraging some of the mobile mapping technologies that Trimble has. Um, my current role now is an account manager for departments of transportation in the sales organization. So tell me a little bit about the new MX-9 that you've just brought out. Okay. Well, the MX-9 is exciting, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> it is exciting. Um, so the MX-9 has um, really high-level scanners and integrated with cameras. There's not only just um, a panoramic or actually a bubble uh, camera, but there's also two additional cameras that point to the, to the uh, front and then an additional camera, a rear-facing camera, that uh, is kind of designed for pavement. Um, so we can capture a lot of data. Uh, the scanners will scan anywhere from uh, 600 kilohertz to 2 megahertz, and that can be controlled by the user. Um, it has a really high level of GNSS and IMU. Um, really precise, high level. So this is this system is a high level system for the types of customers that we're seeing here at this show mm -hmm. um, that are doing design level of mapping. Civil engineering. Civil engineering. Construction of bridges. That's yep. The, the thing that probably sets it apart from our previous manifestations of mobile mapping is this whole package is smaller and lighter than anything, than anything we've built before. It's, it about, nice as well. it's about a half a meter cube, this, oh, yeah. this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And um, also, it doesn't require that we, we have a custom designed vehicle for it because we can put it on a roof rack um, so on a vehicle. For the, any type of roof rack. Yeah, it's been designed for roof rack. The, the system is, um, you know, again, it's small enough that you can actually mount it and then take it down. It's got one cable on it, so you can detach that cable mm -hmm. and take the thing off so it doesn't have to stay on top of the vehicle the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, and I, <clears throat> I've, in our testing, we've you know, taken the thing on and off and it's pretty easy to do. Um, and everybody that has been exposed to mobile mapping really liked that feature that we can take the thing off and know, bring it inside and not have to leave it sitting on the outside of a vehicle. Um, the other things are that, that make it kind of unique to Trimble is it uses Trimble software, yeah. you know, existing Trimble software. Um, and the other thing I think is it's a real benefit with the MX-9 is that you can operate it with just a tablet, a wireless tablet, any, any device, Android or iOS, yeah, and it's not a a PhD in photogrammetry that you need to operate the thing. Um, we're seeing more and more, I was at a, a, sh a DOT conference just a couple of weeks ago, and the surveyors in the DOT were saying, look, there's other people in the DOT that need measurements, and we need to show them how to take these measurements, because we're too busy right now to take all these measurements, but we need to show them how to take these measurements. So really, almost you know, a, a GIS person could learn how to operate, maybe not do all the data reduction, but they could learn how to operate uh, an MX-9 and collect the data that they need without having to send surveyors out in the field for, you know, a GIS level data collection. Yeah, which is a big advantage. It is, it is. We're seeing more and more uh, move from uh, not only DOTs, but um, local government agencies 
to keep people out of the road. They know that when they put people on the road, it's just a question of when somebody gets hurt because you have not only the actual person working in the road, but you have um, uh, lane control, so people that do the lane control or extra vehicles and things like that. You also put the traveling public in danger. Anytime you close a lane or it, narrow a lane, um, it causes problems. So the, the most important thing that DOTs have told me is safety, trying to collect that data, collect it safe. Yeah. Then the next thing they like is they like data richness. So with something like the Trimble MX-9, you can collect more data than you've ever collected before and you can have uh, as rich of a data set as you could possibly get. And then the other thing that they want um, is to be able to go back and quantify that data. Mm -hmm. um, for example, somebody looks at the condition of a road or a sign, historically they've gone out and say, that's a level five. Well, what does that mean? You and I and sure. everybody yeah. look at it, means something different. Now they can actually capture that both with uh, a point cloud and images and say, okay, now I understand what that condition of that, that asset is. And you're here this week at the Turpidot User Conference. Yes. And of course, a great sponsor yes. of the conference. So Absolutely. thank you very much for that. Yes. Um, so uh, one of the questions that comes up is we know that um, Turpidot is a competing software with some of the um, Trimble software packages. So how do you see that? I mean, you're here at the Topodot user conference, but how do you see that fitting in? So, Yeah, so I believe, and Trimble believes, that we need to give the customer what they need to do their job, sure. okay? And sometimes we can provide that complete solution, but sometimes those requirements that that customer needs to use Topodot to get the deliverables that, that they need. They've uh, trained their people, in TopoDot, they do their extraction in TopoDot, and so we don't want to constrain them and force them to use a solution that they're not comfortable with or they're not trained in. Yeah. So it makes sense that we can um, enable them to you know, collect the data as efficiently as possible, but then use a software that gives them the highest value for their money. Yeah, that's great. Um, and what about pricing um, of the MX-9? Where do you see that fitting? So the MX-9 is, is, a, is a premium product. Okay. Um, and it's, it's in the same price range as other premium products. It's not as expensive as the MX-8 was. We discontinued the MX-8 uh, a while ago, yeah. but it's, it's on par with uh, the other um, products in the market today. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And your first time at the Turbidot User Conference? Yes. Of course. Um, what do you think of it? I think it's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> um, I was uh, blown away by how much technical work is going on here and seeing classes stuffed full of people <laughs> with computers in front of them, yeah. you know, and the guys up in front and the guys wandering around, mm -hmm. you know, getting people in line. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, I've been sitting in a lot of the management tracks and just hearing how customers are using, um, doing projects today. Yeah. And it's interesting because they're talking about their, the complete solution. You know, it's not, a, it's not a commercial for any one product. They're saying, here's what I do, did to get this job done. And they'll explain all the steps they did. They may mention a product here or there. But when you really listen to them, it's, what do I need to do to get the job done? Yeah. And so you're enabling that, and, and you're, they're sharing it with the DOTs. They're sharing it with their other customers. Um, it's a really good conference. Oh, that's great. Well, I thank you very much, and thank you again for being one of our great sponsors. Thank you for your time. Yeah.